Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna show you how to connect two one-shot miners. That's right, the power of one. So without any further ado, come, let's get started because you got your second miner and you wanna connect them and to piggyback off the other because maybe you don't have other um, outlets that you can use up to power it up. So come, this is it right here, I'm gonna show you. So you're gonna need a, a one-shot miner 2025. This is a one-shot miner. Um, older version, it only has one micro USB connection. And the new 2025 version has a USB-C and a um, micro USB connector. Knowing that moving forward, that's how you tell them apart. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna need a cable like this right here. It has two different connections. It has a USB-C and on the other end, it has a micro USB connection. The first dedicated connection to the one shot miner has to be a micro power source. So we're gonna take the power from here, okay? And then connect it to here on the 2025 version. So when we put it in, well, well don't plug it in just yet. We'll do the piggybacking experience so it doesn't short out. Um, so we're going to take the USB-C connection and put it in here and take the micro connection, which is from this cable, and put it in there. Don't make sure you put it in correctly because you don't want to mess it up because these things are not easy to fix. All right, so now that you have that piggyback experience, as you can see, um, now you're going to take the dedicated micro USB connection and just make sure that it is correct. And when it is, Got to turn it over, plug it in like that, and then voila, they should power up after a few seconds. See, kind of neat, huh? It's activated, connecting to Wi Fi, grasping that time zone. Minus five is mine. I'll leave a link in the description down below in case you need to find your time zone. In any minute, they should both connect. And this is really good if you want to, as they would say, piggyback them. See, when we have one with this default screen, but I kind of like um, to use it as a clock, but I like a little glitchy with that experience, but so you can stack them together. Now, if you get a third miner, the same setup would be um, fed off the last one. So again, you would have to um, probably put that one first, one in the middle and then et cetera, but are you always gonna need a dedicated power source of one to feed everybody else uh, and that's how you would piggyback the experience so as you can see here we would basically disconnect this here and then vice versa um, plug in the USB USB-C and then etc and then the chain can simply go on but remember this is the main power source so uh, moving forward you know you have to figure out which connections will work right for you in this experience but that's how you do it kind of neat huh Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you all next time.